I am very excited. Today I'm going to be revamping Yard 41's website. This was a website that I did back in 2016. So that's over almost seven years ago. Um, I remember it's when I had my first child. So it's been a while and I do think it needs a revamp and I have decided to use one of my Cadence starter templates, the Time for Wine template to do this revamp and I'm going to be walking you through the whole process of revamping this website and showing you just how easy it is to use one of my starter templates to create um, a simple website for your business. So the, before I begin, because I'm doing a revamp and I want to show you the before and after, I am going to be taking a full screenshot of the current website so that I can do a before and after comparison. So what I use is called, um, it's a Google Chrome extension and I'm just going to be taking a full page um, screenshot of this and I'm sure it's called Capture or something like that. Okay, so it is actually called Awesome Screenshot. Um, it is a free Chrome extension, just takes a full screenshot of your website and then um, you can download that and save that for later. So you can do your before and after pictures. And if you are doing a revamp, I highly recommend that you do that. Because I'm going to be working on a live website and not a test site, I am going to be installing a simple plugin that's going to create a coming soon page. So if anyone lands on the website in the next couple of hours, they are going to see a coming soon page. So I quite like to use this seed prod one. Um, I'm going to install and activate this plugin. And then I am going to create a very simple coming soon page. Now that our very simple coming soon page is in place, it's time for us to dive on into the back end and install our Time for Wine starter template. So the first thing we need to do is we need to head to appearance and then we are going to go to themes and we're going to install the cadence theme and upload our newly purchased time for wine theme or cadence starter template that we are going to be using. So let's click on add new and I'm going to go through this whole process. Okay, so this is the point where we start importing the Time for Wine starter template um, and we click on start importing that imports all the plugins that I've used to create that template and all of the content and the customizer settings. Now this takes a little bit of time, so we just wait this out and then once it has been completed, we'll see a nice finish button and basically then the layout of the website is there. So now that our template has been installed, the next step is to do a little cleanup, cleaning up plugins we aren't going to be using, pages that we no longer need, and any other settings that um, just aren't needed for this website. Now that we've done our cleanup, we can start doing the fun stuff, which is customizing our starter template to make sure that it's in line with Yard 41's branding. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have all our um, logo files and our colors and our fonts. So here you can see I have a PDF guide. In that PDF guide it shows me the fonts that I need to use and the colors. So it's basically black and um, white that I'm going to be using and then also the logos. And as you can see in this folder, I have saved all the logos as SVG files. Generally, an SVG file is a lot more crisper. So um, I highly recommend using an SVG file when uploading your logo. 
So um, what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to media and I am going to add new and I'm going to upload um, both the black and the white and the linear versions of these logos. Now, um, because I'm using SVG files, I first have to add them to the media library before I can use them in the customizer. Okay, so there I have it. And while I'm here, I'm also going to do the favicon. So the favicon is that tiny little icon that you see in your tab. Um, it just creates brand recognition. Okay, so now that we have uploaded that, I am going to come to appearance and I am going to come to customize and I'm going to add in the logo. Okay, so as we mentioned before, the cadence um, start this time for wine starter template is based off the cadence theme so um, amending your header and your footer is pretty easy so we're going to first start by adding in our logo so we're going to do that by using the header builder and clicking on the header builder at the top there that's then going to bring up the header builder at the bottom and we can look at the logo here and click on this icon here and then select the logo that we want I'm going to go for the white logo so this specific white logo I'm going to skip the cropping okay and that's then going to pop that in and as you can see it's a little bit too big for this um, template so what we can do is we can just start to bring it down a little bit that just refines it a little bit more I think that is so much better um, one thing that Yard41 um, doesn't do is they don't take reservations so I'm going to just delete this button Okay, that then gives it a bit more space with the primary and the secondary navigation. So I am going to just check on mobile devices what this looks like in terms of the logo. It's a tad bit big there, so I'm just going to bring it down a fraction. Yeah, that's good. And then again on the smaller devices, so let's go down even further. There we go. Okay, so that logo is looking much better. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to look at the primary and the secondary navigation and make sure that I have the right items in my primary and secondary navigation. So I'm going to close this customizer. I'm going to come back to appearance and then menus. Okay, and first I'm going to look at our primary navigation. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so we've got home, shops, about, um, and it looks like there's quite a lot of menus here. So you might want to go through your menus, especially if you're doing a revamp and clean up things. Like, for example, this, I'm going to delete this menu. And I'm going to set this primary navigation. So I'm going to select that one. And that's the original one that Yard41 had. And I'm going to tick this box primary and I'm going to just click save menu then I'm going to look at this secondary menu okay and I'm not too sure what's going on there so let's just delete that menu we don't need that and let's look at this secondary navigation um, gallery events and contact and let's set that as our secondary navigation Okay, so let's go back to appearance and customize and let's have a look what this navigation looks like. There's a lot less things. There's home, shops, about, gallery, events and contact. And that looks really good. The only thing we want to look at is now our header builder going to our tablet and mobile. Clicking on that, that then is only bringing up... Um, you have your mobile navigation so we need to make sure that we add in the pages there okay so let's close this and go back to appearance and customize and go to our mobile navigation select that okay let's just remove this okay so we got home menu we don't need menu okay about us we've got blog we don't need blog Okay, so we need to make sure there is gallery. Uh, just move that down there. Let's have a look on the website, what pages we need to make sure are in there. So shops. Okay, 
Okay, so it goes shops, then gallery events and contact. Okay, and then you can click save menu and then that will be the right menu on your mobile um, devices. So you've got to make sure that you do add that in. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the right font is being pulled through and that is in line with our style guide. So the fonts that we have is Allo Light and Miso Regular. So with one of these fonts, um, one of them is not a Google font, so I'm going to go for something similar. Um, it is this font and the other one is Alio and that is also a Google font. So what we're going to do is come to the customizer. We are going to come to this general tab here on the left hand side. We're then going to click on typography and this is where we can set the um, base font. So that's kind of your paragraph font. So here I'm going to change that and as you can see it changes here on the right hand side. So you can either work with that font or I can change it to the other one. I do prefer the other one in here so I will change that and then I will also work on just letter spacing and um, height etc just to make sure that it looks good so let's change this one okay so i've just played with the letter spacing a little bit and i've played with the line height um, and then we can start looking at maybe the menu items to make sure that those um these are inherit the navigation font is inherit if you want to you can of course um, increase that letter spacing a little bit okay so there we go i have changed the letter spacing the next thing i want to do is when i scroll up you can see the logo is gone there so we want to amend that logo so what we're going to do is come to our main row and our header and we're looking at our sticky header and this is where we're going to select an image and i do prefer a kind of linear logo here so there it is and we can choose that image and then we can change the sizing as well so i can either make that bigger or smaller and i can make that a tad bit bigger as well Okay, and then I can publish that. Okay. Okay, so now that we have worked on our fonts, it's now time to work on our colors. So we're going to come to our general tab here, and then we're going to go to colors. And these are um, the global palette that we're going to be working with. These first two colors are kind of your more brighter colors. These are your um, text colors and these are your background colors. So at the moment it is set to kind of this blue color. Um, with the color palette for Yard 41, it's very dark. The black is this color. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to make sure all the fonts are here. All the fonts are those colors. Let me just change this one as well. There isn't a huge color palette. Um, and then scrolling down, you can see things like that are all black. And we can change this background color. I'm going to change that to a lighter gray. And then this Lynx color, I'm going to just keep it as black as well. Okay, so when I go through the website, I can always change those colors. And then once I'm done with those changes, I am going to click publish. So now that we have customized our fonts and our colors and added in our logo, it's now time to work on each individual page um, using the block builder to change images and text. So the first page we're going to be working on is our home page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit page and I'm going to go through the home page and then 
speed through all the other pages um, but let me just show you the home page so basically um, what the pages are made out of is rows and in those rows are blocks now with the block editor um, what's really handy is this list view so as you can see there are rows within those rows there are sections and within each section you either have um, advanced text um, a divider a more advanced text or you might have an advanced image or you might have an accordion like we have down here um, where we have our menu so if you want to edit any section you just need to drill down and find that specific um, element that you want to change so for example if we're looking at this main row here so this is where we've got this wine image we're going to then come to the right hand side here we're going to come to our background settings and you can see the wine um, glass image and that's where we are going to edit the image and I'm going to find a nice image of yard 41 so let me scroll down and find an image that we uploaded to the website a while ago So let's go with um, maybe this image here and we'll go select okay that will then pop the image in there as you can see and I can click update and then we can come to the front end of the website and you can see that image has been put in there which looks really good we might want to lighten the background a little bit so that we can really see um, the buildings so we can come back to our home page and we can come to the right hand side here go to our overlay settings uh, we can make sure this is the right color that's overlaid and then update so then that is in line with our branding we then refresh and then that looks really a little bit better. So I'm going to whiz through this home page um, and you can watch on speed.
So that is my process of revamping Yard 41's website using my Time for Wine Cadence starter template. If you watched through all that modifying and uploading of images, you can see part that took the longest time was choosing the right images and resizing them and uploading them to the site. So let's just have a scroll through the website and appreciate how beautiful it looks now. Thank you.